when I did my fellowship in Rajiv Gandhi, I saw a lot of Nepalese patients, you know, being operated there. I came back here, started my practice here, and I, even then I used to see, you know, a lot of oncology cases being going to India for further treatment. So seeing that thing, we were always discussing, you know, it's really necessary for you know any institute in Nepal to bring the robotic technology to Nepal. Uh, we're not trying to say that once we start the robotic system, you know, the technology here in Nepal, then the efflux of the people going to India will be low or decrease. But yes, even if let's say 10 people are going outside of the country for further treatment, if we can retain even one or two, then that will make a huge difference to the country. So that's one of the reasons, you know, why we wanted to bring the robotic system, that technology to Nepal. We, the second generation, are slowly, you know, uh, taking the responsibilities from the two Vaidya and Baskotas. But whatever happens, the principle remains the same, you know, of PNB Hospital. Uh, the two bars, they are basically, they they are not that much worried about the, you know, the finance. Yes, the financial aspect is important, but uh, patient care is the utmost thing for them. So that principle remains the same, you know. Yes, you know, we have brought the robotic system. We know that, you know, in the beginning, the number of cases might not be that high. You know, we might have to compromise on the thing, but the service, we are trying to give the, provide the service to the patients of Nepal. Uh, gradually, once you start doing number of cases increases, your, your experience is, gets better, then obviously the number of patients will slowly rise. That's what we are thinking. I think, you know, SS Innovations is a similar company to BNB Hospital run by a doctor, you know. So when we had a chat with them and we went to see the factory, you know, the company we saw, uh, we we're very happy, you know, with the way the things working in SS Innovations. It is pretty, you know, it is one of the best systems, I would say. It is cost effective, you know, I would say it is feasible for Nepal. Yes, you know, it, we cannot compare the cost of the robotic system with the laparoscopic system, but you know, if you're going for a robotic system, obviously the cost will definitely be higher than the laparoscopic system. But we're trying to, you know, bring this system to the country, you know, how we can provide service to the people of Nepal. Uh, the cost factor is always going to be there, but we're trying to do our, you know, homework and how we can decrease the cost. The quality of the instruments, you know, the quality of the, let's say, the vision card, the robotic console is, is pretty good. I would say now we're just beginning the robotic system, robotic technology in Nepal and BNB. Gradually, you know, the experience will take over. I think, or I hope we do get better and better by the day. The number of cases hopefully will increase, you know, not just in urology, I'm talking about gynecology, I'm talking about head and neck surgery, I'm talking about general surgery. So that way, I think I'm hopeful that, you know, um, the mantra system will be, you know, a good asset to BNB hospital.